Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. We are carrying on with our beginners course. Um, today we are looking at the loop cut. So we're just gonna dive straight on in. We're gonna create a cube for this one. Um, there we go. Let's just put on our screencast keys and there we go. Okay, we're just going to zero this back in onto the center there. Okay, so the loop cut. Um, so basically what you need to do, you I mean, basically you will use this probably in nearly every single model that you do. Um, it's such a great tool. Um, so we'll just go into edit. Um, and the shortcut um, is control R. Um, and as you can see here, it does a coot, a coot. <laughs> it does a cut around the complete object. So not only can you do like a single cut, you can move it up and down before committing to where you need the cut. But also, Control R. If you use your mouse um, scroll button, uh, you can add in as many cuts. As you like and then if you look down in the bottom left whoops down here you will see um, number of cuts so you can actually see how many cuts you are doing so if you want to do 20 you could just sort of see there and that's like 20 cuts Ooh. now what if you wanted to select just one of these loop cuts okay so you hit keep your finger on the alt button um, and my select button on my mouse is right but I would imagine if you're on the left mouse button it'd be click your left mouse button so that's alt and button click and that will select a complete loop so if you wanted to do more you could do like a shift alt and just keep clicking them so there you go that's that um, over here you can see we've got the loop cut tool on the toolbar on the left here so you can select that if you need so there we have the there we have the loop cut um, a fantastic tool this is and then you can just extrude or do whatever do whatever you want with it really um delete I'm gonna create a new cube um the next tool we are looking at is bevel um so there are a few ways of doing this okay so we're going to if you want the whole object say to be beveled you can just go into um and then click on bevel as you can see it gives us a bevel all the way around a stand a standard bevel if you like um, so we can add in the segments that'll give it a bit of a smoother smoother rounded sort of corners um, offset is how much of a bevel that you want so you can have quite a lot and then just round the edges off and then just do a W shade smooth um, and then if we just undo that, go back to how it was, there we go. Um, you can also do, so if you go into edit and then control B, that will give you, um, your bevel tool. And you can just move your mouse to adjust how much of a bevel you want. Um, but also, obviously, if you go down to the menu bar down here, you can see here we've got the same um, components to the tool as what you did over here. Um, so we can add segments. We can offset it, depending on how much of a bevel you want on it. Obviously, there is a whole lot of 
tool, a lot of different tools on there, but we're just looking at the basics. Um, but also, the good thing about this is, say, we just want one edge beveled. You can just do that. But what about if you see down here, you got custom tool. You can actually change the profile of the bevel. Um, so let's just like zoom in. So this here, let's move this up. You can actually, you got little nodes or vertices on here, and you can actually pull in, and you can actually change the profile of the bevel. But obviously, the more segments you've got. I don't know if you can see it on the video here, but you've got the vertices on there, which are for the vertices on there. So if you add on more, it will add on more onto the profile here. So we can just select one of these, pull it on in. So you could have like a skirting board. Maybe you want a different pattern on the skirting board. Um, maybe like um, the, the wooden rail that goes around the center of a wall. You could create something like that. Um, the, there's, you can create a whole lot of. There are some defaults somewhere. Presets. There we go. Support loops. So uh, just looks like a standard thing. Um, a cornice molding. Um, a crown molding. So you can see the profile there. You can see the profile sort of here and a oh steps that we go look so you can pretty much create anything so let's just come out of there let's just select the top few and then control B so you could create like a, a column say say you're building like an old an old building um, all you have to do is select the edges and create your own sort of design and it's not just it's not just on the cube you can um, if we come out of edit if we do sh um, shift a and then see this would be more like a a column if you like um, so let's just move that over here. Okay, let's go into edit mode. And then we're left to do, because we want to select all these edges along the top, so we'll do Alt. And for me, it's left click. So we've selected all these edges. If we do Control B, so you can create your own um, column base depending on what sort of model that you want. See something like that. No, not that one. That looks a good one. Okay, so we've got that. So we'll come out of there. We'll just go into the bottom here and just pull that up just so the base is a little bit shallower. So we'll hit number three for the face. And we're just gonna pull that up further. So that could be a column base um, and then we just hit that one and then we just extrude on the Z and there's your column and then if you wanted you could do the same pattern um, up the top control B so There. So you could have that sort of thing at the top, depending on what what it is you're after. And then you can just like shift D, shift D on the Y, and you create yourself a nice little um, old Greek building. Um, do a, create a plane for the floor. 
Um, create something up here. We're just going to keep it simple. We're just adding a I don't know, whatever that is going to be. Yeah, and so on, so forth. You can just create a good, massive, bloody great big building if you wanted. Like that. Whoops. Yeah, so there you go. So that was Loop Cut and um, the Bevel Tool today. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.